Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to be doing a new meta guide for Heroes of the Storm. Today is October 11th and a little bit has changed since the last meta guide that I made uh, almost half a year ago. So um, what we're going to be going over today is some of the hero reworks and patch notes and balances and then we're going to go over every hero that I think is pretty pretty good and pretty meta right now again. So. Um, the format was a little bit different of the last video. I had my uh, screen out and you could see, but let me give you another little background of myself. I've been playing since the uh, the beta. Uh, um, as soon as the beta came out, um, I got the game. And I think it's been about seven, almost eight years. Um, I think I'm over total hero level, maybe 5,000, something like that. And, um, you know, Diamond 1, almost master. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I've played a lot. I really love the game. Um, it's definitely my favorite game, and I, you know, I can tell you a decent amount about it. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go on over and look at the last patch. Unfortunately, the last patch is the saddest patch. Um, today, October 11th, they are actually going to be doing a little um, maintenance on the server. I don't know if it's going to be a rework. Um, we'll have to wait and find out. But for now... Um, Unfortunately, Heroes of the Storm was put in maintenance mode, so they're really not going to be adding new heroes and updates. And it's really sad because it's such an amazing game, and there are so many things that they could have done to make it more uh, popular. So here is one of the latest uh, patches. It will actually let me go all the way back, back to uh, 54.2. Um, and this was mm, a little bit ago. So, yeah. Um, basically what they did is they, they nerfed a lot of heroes. They, <clears throat> they, they nerfed Rhaegar, they nerfed Vala, they nerfed Nazebo since the last, uh, meta guide that I made. So they are a lot more balanced now, not to say that they're still not really strong. Um, but if you look at Diablo, um, he got some changes, his, lightning build got buffed diablo actually got a uh, pretty nice buff his um you know um his souls he only loses uh, 75 now when he dies so you you always have about 25 souls um etc got buffed they buffed a lot of tanks um they they nerfed vala and rhaegar a little bit but i still don't think it's really that much so the reworks are kind of minor nothing really that big so just like the last meta guide, I'm actually going to just go start by roll. So we're going to start with tanks, and we'll work all the way over to our assassins, healers, everything. So I think these are melee melee assassins here. Yeah. All right, so we'll start with tanks again. So what are some of the strongest tanks in the game right now? Well, I mean, honestly, in any scenario, any hero can be really good. So never take everything that I'm saying in this video so seriously and... Um, just know that, you know, this, this is a matter of opinion. So the tanks that I think that are really, really strong right now are going to be Garrosh, Johanna, Diablo, ETC, Muradin, and Anubarak. Those, uh, you know, I, I could even put Arthas up there. Arthas is great. And, you know, Cho in certain scenarios, he works pretty well. Not all the time, but... You know, if I had to pick top tank meta tank right now, I'd put Garrosh. And six months ago, I would have said Stitches. I mean, yes, he's really good, but he doesn't peel well. I mean, he's great. My my favorite tanks are definitely Garrosh, Johanna, Diablo, and Muradin, and ETC. I mean, Arthas and Blaze can go up there, too. They can have some fun. Um, they're decent, but number one pick is Garrosh. Number two, uh, I'd say... Diablo and Johanna are tied for second place. First place is Garrosh. Second place, Diablo, Johanna. Uh, third place, ETC, just because Mosh can be countered a little bit. And fourth place, Blaze. Fifth place, Ar Arthas. And, yeah, and then we have, you know, the rest of the tanks. Also, Anub Anubarak's really good. Anubarak's probably third place, fourth place, too, maybe tied in there. Um, they're all great. But, yeah, you can't go wrong with Garrosh, Johanna, Muradin, Diablo, Anubarak. All right, Bruiser. Bruiser is not my best role, but I will say that Sonya has and always will be one of the best 
solo laners, bruisers, you can find. Gazlo, also absolutely fantastic, amazing. Rag, just because you can press R to win. Hogger's great. Uh, Varian's great, just because he's very versatile. He can do a lot. Thrall's great. I'd say, if I had to you know, pick and put people in order, I'd say Sonya and Gazlo probably tied for first place. Dahaka's up there. Rag, you know, third place, probably Dahaka and... Dahak is probably second place. Sonya and Gazlo tied for first. Rag's up there, third place. Thrall, fourth. And then maybe Hogger, fifth. Or, you know, you could even put Hogger in fourth place. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they can all be pretty good, but I'm just saying, you know, the, the, the best ones right now are probably Sonya and Gaz and Rag. They're all just pretty busted. Varian's pretty damn good, too. Um, okay, support. Support is one of the most fun roles in the game. I, in my opinion, I think it's really fun. Um, Zarya is not very meta right now, but she's okay. The problem with Zarya is since she's kind of like a bruisery support, it doesn't really make sense to have her in the solo lane because her E um, needs to be used on allies. So Zarya has always been in a weird spot. I mean, she works great in ARM, and she works great in the four man, but she is not a very good solo laner. So she is, you know, drafted as a support. And she's a great hero if she is like that, but I still wouldn't put her on top. The best support right now is Abathur. And then second place is Mediv. Third place, TLV. Or actually, third place, Zarya. You know, actually, I'd say, you know, it's hard to really put these guys in order. I'd say Abathur is definitely number one, hands down. Um, you know, Zarya and Mediv. It's probably Abathur number one. Second place, Zarya. Third place, Mediv. Fourth place, TLV. TLV is great, but against really good teammates, uh, or sorry, against really good opponents, you know, you're really still going to have a really hard time. I mean, and you can pull it off. You can outsoak your opponent really hard and win, but, you know, it, it's also difficult still. All right, healer. Healer is one of the most fun things to argue meta about because there are a lot of healers that are pretty damn good. But <clears throat> as far as the most meta healers in the game, you have Rhaegar, Brightwing, and Anduin. Um, Rhaegar, Brightwing, and Anduin, uh, I mean, I'd even put Stukov up there. He's great. The reason why is because, you know, he they, these heroes don't really rely on interacting with the enemy to get the healing out. Rhaegar is number one best healer, and he got nerfed just because he's so broken. But Rhaegar, number one healer, Brightwing and Stukov tied for second place, and Anduin too. I can't even put them above each other, but Rhaegar, Brightwing, Stukov, Anduin, all some of the best healers. I'd say a honorable mention goes to like Lucio, White Mane, Alex, Anna, maybe even Deckard or Mouth. Uh, Oriole can be really good with Cho'Gall. You know, it just depends on what you have. Um, you know, and, and particularly any healer can fit really well into a certain comp. Like Mouth can provide. Mouth is great with Ming. You know, she he can root for her and give her lots of mana. Um, you know, so every healer has their purpose with you know different heroes. But um, the one thing to remember is for the most meta, you, you're going to want Rhaegar just because the totem is so busted it nerfs so much. Brightwing, Polly, and his global. Stukov, Silence, combos with so much CC. Anduin because he can pull people out. Anna's nano boost is great, but she's just a very squishy. Like, if she gets cut out of place, Alex Straza can, you know, AoE, get punished. Um, Uther, his healing cooldowns are long. Tyrande, you have to interact with enemy. White main can be amazing and keep people alive, but you know if if there's too much dive, it's really rough. So my favorite picks for healer are Rhaegar, Brightwing, Stukov, and Anduin. All right, is this the ranged assassin? I think this is ranged assassin. That's melee. So for ranged assassin, um, what's really funny is that Vala W build was so broken for a while, and then what they did was they went ahead and they nerfed W build into the ground. So W build is okay now, maybe in ARAM. It can be good in, in, in QM too, and it's still definitely a great build, and you still see it a lot in the pro scene. Um, it's just not what it was when it first came out and it was busted. So now I would say, you know, you can you can pick maybe if you feel safe enough to get an auto attack build off and they don't have a blind, that could be good, or you could go W. But as far as some of the best uh, ranged assassins in the game, I'd definitely still put Vala up there. But I'm going to put Naz in first place over Vala. It sounds fucking crazy, right? But Naz Spiders, if you can hit a skill shot, are absolutely disgusting and will just chunk your entire health pool. So Naz is number one. Vala's up there. Tychus, Tassadar. I mean, shit, Ming's up there. Zul'jin. There are a lot of really good ranged assassins, and it's really hard to 
put you know these into a meta but if i had to say i'd say you know naz and vala i mean they're probably tied you know just because vala can do more constant damage than nazebo so they're probably tied i'd even put ming up there vala naz ming tassadar all amazing assassins um you know zuljin's also really broken a lot of these heroes can be really broken but yeah you know i definitely put uh naz and vala up top Tychus up there too, Tassadar Ming. Um, those are some of the best. Okay, so now melee. Now melee is one of the most interesting dying breed of Hots player uh, out there because no one really likes melee. But um, let's go ahead and rate the melee meta. Well, uh, a Zara, a really, really, really good Zara. And I, when I say really, really good, I mean you have to be really damn good you know can be one of the best melees but at the same time you know you have alarak and a really good alarak is absolutely disgusting so i'd put kira alarak and zara for the top melee choices because they don't really rely on anyone else like illidan kerrigan and butcher can all be really busted with an abahat and with the right team but you know at the same time you can't always ask for that and you can't always expect to have that so um, that's why I'll put Alarak and Kira in first place and Zeratul in second place for um, meta melee heroes just because they don't really rely on anyone else. I could be Alarak and I could actually destroy a Cho'Gal. I could destroy anyone just because of my silence and my displacement and everything. You know, same thing with Kira. She has an amazing CC um, and, she, and she can be really good. Zera has great mobility. And the other melee assassins are are kind of lacking like i'm actually going to say that the other melee assassins are some of the worst heroes in the game and i know a lot of people will probably argue with me on that but i think samuro and valera are some of the worst heroes in the game they're really rough to play and it can be not fun um interestingly enough i noticed that uh i don't see probius on here and i yeah i don't think i see probius on here Oh, here he is. Okay. Probius. So I feel like maybe we missed a category. Or what category was Probius under? Did they just forget to put him? He'd be under a ranged assassin. And I don't see him. That's so oh no, here he is. Okay, Probius, yeah. Um, yeah. I just I was just confused. But uh yeah, that's the, the meta guide right there. And uh it's changed a little bit, but for the most part it's pretty similar and i really hope it helped you kind of decide what your favorite heroes are and um you know decide what heroes are the best right now according to me um, of course you know everyone has a different opinion and you know this this might not you might say hey you know wow this this other hero is so much better how could you ever put this guy over him right and that's just because it's my matter of opinion you know and, and you're entitled to your opinion and i'm entitled to mine but i just wanted to share mine with you so that you could see um, you know, because I have a lot of experience and, you know, it might be interesting to you to see, you know, hey, through experience, what do you think is some, are some of the best heroes? And so I hope this could help and I hope you, you find a hero that you really enjoy that's also really good. And, you know, you unlock your true talent and hidden potential in Heroes of the Storm. It's up to the community to keep the game alive. So thanks for watching this video. Um, leave a like and a comment if you have any questions. It really helps me out. Um, you know, and you can uh, go ahead and sub to the channel too. That would really help me out. And I appreciate, you know, all of, all of my viewers. So thank you very much for watching and have a good day.